everybody. Good evening. How is everyone on this Thursday, February the 10th? Last live before Valentine's Day. Wow. <laughs> Did that sneak up on us or what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, um, you are just getting a view of my workspace tonight. I I didn't feel like gussing up. I injured myself this morning. So, um, about all I could do was get prepared for a live. And um, besides getting changed into clothing, it just wasn't going to happen tonight. So, um, I decided that I was just going to stay in my comfortable clothes and not mess with getting dressed and makeup and all of that. And, um, yeah, so here I am, um, just coming to you live the best I can. <laughs> so good evening, everybody. And hi, sweetie. Thanks for joining. <laughs> um, so I am bringing you a Valentine's day card with the, uh, the feature die set here is from, Un uh, Catherine Pooler under the umbrella. And um, here are some supporting elements that I have used. Uh, I have used the Love die. And it is from this set. I think it's the blanket die. It's Honeybee blanket die. And it's got all these fun little um, other words in it. But I've used the word love. Um, and I have used the U, which is actually separate on here. This is Pink Fresh and classic word die set. I've pulled the, the U from that. And there is a love on this one, but I liked, I liked the love, the font on this love uh, for the umbrella. This one's a little bigger and I liked how this one spread out. So I chose that one for the love. And I'm using the three smallest hearts from Honey Bee. These are the stacking hearts. And I'm using Love Letters paper from Honey Bee. I have used some Spellbinders brushed silver card stock and black paper from Basil and some Cupid and Company paper. I've used these lips. <laughs> I chose the lips for the base or the umbrella part of my umbrella. So yes, that is those are the products we have here. I will link them in the description below. I do have some other things pulled out um, that I might possibly use. We'll see how this goes. And um, yeah, supporting elements. Good evening. Hi, Lindy. <laughs> how are you? Yay, thanks for joining me. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so what I've started with is I've taken some black card stock and I've stacked, die cut it three times and I stacked it just so that I could get a little bit of dimension. And so I'm gonna glue this. So I've die cut it with the under the umbrella die set from Catherine Pooler. And this paper is from this is the this is the Echo Park Cupid and Company paper. And yeah, so here we go. Um, I've been icing my back all day long, trying to relax and trying not to get into too much trouble. Um, I'm not a very good patient. I don't listen to orders very well, but I, I'm trying my best so that I can get well. <sighs> um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So there we have it. That is the um, the under part of, or the umbrella part of the umbrella. So for the handle and the, um, I guess you would call that the base. I don't know. The, what do you call that part? I want to call it like the stem, like on a flower. <laughs> Anyway, this part right here, I've used the brushed uh, silver cardstock. So 
I just die cut it and then use that part, but the handle is just black card stock. So we're just kind of building up our elements here on the umbrella. So I only cut out the handle part and kind of cut it off where it needs to be cut off. If that makes any sense at all, hopefully it does. So there's that. And now we'll put on this handle. What do you call that? I don't know. The silver part of the umbrella. <laughs> I had too much Tylenol. I don't know. Perhaps. I can't think of what that's called. Here we go. So to make it look a little more realistic, that's what I've done. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's saying, hey, <laughs> say hey. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So now <clears throat> I am just going to put this love and you on my umbrella. I, I chose the little kissy, um, little red kissy lips. I just thought that was so cute for the umbrella. Um, yeah, anyway, fun. So, did I bring that in here? I thought I did. I saved my paper to hold it in place, but I think I don't think I brought it in, and that's okay. So, I will. There we go. I'm just gonna stick some glue on here. Do the best I can. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. The shaft of the umbrella. Yeah. That's the best name I could think of it. Um, yep. Yeah. Because it's definitely not the handle part. It's, yeah, the shaft. Umbrella shaft. That makes perfect sense. Thank you, Lindy. Oops, I don't want that there. Bring that here. So there we go, and there we go. So the reason I went ahead, instead of using, I only have white foam, so instead of using white foam, I thought the white foam might kind of show underneath this dark umbrella, and I didn't really want that. So that's why I used the black cardstock. I cut it three times to stack it. So I just felt like my project was too dark to use white foam. So there we have that. Okay. Now I have done something a little bit unique here and I decided to use, I looked at this side, but I think it's too busy with there's a lot going on to use that. I mean, it would be cute to color in some of those. And that's something you might want to do. This is the Honey Bee um, Love Letters paper. And you could, you know, color some of these red. But I just decided I wanted the, the hugs and kisses, the X's and O's, because it's not as busy. It's not so distracting. And... Um, so I am going to stick this. This measures three and a half by five and a half. And I am going to stick this right in the center of my card base. And instead of creating a card base where I waste a whole red sheet of paper and then another, you know, piece of black card stock, I decided that I would just cut strips to conserve some paper. And so I thought that would work really well. So and it's going to hang over on the uh, the edges of this piece that I'm working on right now. The red piece is going to hang over the edges. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. That way, we have a little bit of black showing on there too. So I'm going to center that. There we go. Okay. 
And so we're gonna take our red piece and we're gonna go all the way to the edge. And this piece measures a half an inch by five and a half inches. And it's gonna go all the way over, but it actually overlaps this three and a half inch piece. I feel like it kind of helps tie it together when it overlaps a little bit. So, making sure that Okay. And I could actually use that to line it up. Kind of help me get it straight. So, making sure I'm in the corner, I can just use that edge just like so. And there it is. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring the black all the way to the edge right here so we have um, stripes on our sides. So I'm going to use that as my guide to get that on there straight. So I don't drop it. <laughs> We've had some beautiful weather. It's kind of like spring. It felt like spring today. I was kind of bummed. I was a little kind of, I guess you would call it on house arrest. <laughs> Having to stay inside and rest. Get it? House arrest. <laughs> anyway, so it was kind of a little bit of a bummer to have to do that, but oh well. When rest calls. Okay, so now we have our umbrella. And that's kind of why I did the black on the outside so that the um, edges of the umbrella could hit the red part here. And I'm just gonna place my the hearts where I want them um, I'm thinking maybe like this. This way. And let's stick this one up here. Yeah. And I brought, I have these extra hearts from when I die cut things. I thought maybe I could use those if, if need be. I'll grab some of these. Um, I don't know, maybe. I think these are a little brighter red, but I don't know that it would hurt anything. Huh? I don't know. They're darker. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I might I think I might just use these three hearts. I kind of 
kind of like that, just like that. You might, there, there's a lot going on with those X's and O's and I don't know that I want any more of those, but what I think I will do, I'm gonna go ahead and put my umbrella down, I'll put those um, hearts down. I think what I'll, I will do is I will, um, get some of these gems out and see how that helps a little bit. House arrest, <laughs> right? Uh, oh, sometimes I say things and I realize, what in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Just, you know, this would make a great masculine. Uh, this would make a great masculine card for the guy in your life. You stay down, go back down. What are you doing? Quick and simple, too. Doesn't take a lot of time. The red paper, I don't know if I told you that, that's from the love letters also. So the XO and the red paper is from Honeybee Love Letters. All right, so fun and quick and cute. I thought I might add some, a little bit of bling, see how the bling goes. Um, They just kind of, no, it just didn't do it for me. I think I might not put bling on this. What do you know? Unless it's just all little ones. Maybe I, maybe the big one was not, not doing it for me. Maybe that was the problem. Come on, come here. Um. going no bling. I'm going simple on this one. Keeping it clean and simple. Now you do you. If you like bling and you think you would want bling on it, you put bling on it. But I'm thinking, nope, not today. I kind of, this, this card has a lot going on and I think I like it just as it is. So it's done, folks. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did a card in 20 minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> But I think it's fun and cute and quite adorable. I really like it a lot. So who doesn't like umbrellas, right? <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm going to go back to house arrest. <laughs> And I will post all of all the links to all of the products that I have used um, back to the store so that you can take a look at uh, the individual uh, materials that are used in this. So I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your evening, blessed rest of your uh, week and weekend.
because my goodness, it is Valentine's weekend. Go enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining me, whether you're here live or if you're here um, catching the replay. I certainly appreciate your support. Bye-bye.